I recently received a fine book as a gift, The Courage to Be Ourselves, The Legacy of Archbishop Joseph Tawil. This is a collection of the writings of the second bishop of the Melkite Greek Catholic Eparchy in the United States, compiled by Bishop Nicholas Samra. Saidna Joseph, as he is known, spoke clearly and courageously for the need of Eastern Catholic churches to live their identity. I was reminded of Pope John Paul II's challenge for the church. The church has two lungs, Eastern and Western, and it will never breathe easily until it uses both of them. The book considers all the verbs of the quote. Sometimes we focus on has, but fail to follow up with the others. We have done well in insisting on our place in the universal church, has two lungs. Have we, however, considered the other verbs, breathe and use? It has two lungs. It will never breathe easily until it uses both of them. We must allow the church to use us if it is to breathe easily. It seems strange to hear a coach calling an athlete to breathe. Since it is so natural, one couldn't imagine forgetting this. But when we become so engrossed, we need to be reminded of it. Our Eastern churches need to be reminded at times that we are expected to be part of the breathing of the church. The book includes an address to clergy in 1977. What the Archbishop says to the priests could be extended to all of us. He speaks of falling to the temptation of selfishness that leads to envy and to laziness. I was reminded of the beautiful Lenten prayer of St. Ephraim, in which we ask God to free us from indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter, and direct us to integrity, humility, patience, and love. The church does not sin, but we members, each and all, do. The season of the Great Lenten Fast is indeed the time for us to see our own sins, in particular, sins of giving up, despair, envy and blaming, lust for power, and playing games when work is needed idle chatter. The coach is telling us, I know you need to focus on being an Eastern Church, but don't forget what that means. Accept the Holy Spirit, inhale, and cooperate in doing His works and fruits, exhale. In other words, breathe.